guys, so you might be wondering why it's been such a long time since my last empties video, and the reason is I can never finish products up. I am so bad. I just buy more things and they get used first and you know the half to use ones get forgotten about and it's just one kind of vicious circle of me never using up anything. I have however managed to accumulate a box of some empty products here. There's not a great deal but these are things I've kind of collected over the last few months. There isn't really any order to these so I'm just going to kind of go through them, show you what I've used up and tell you if I'd buy them again. I've actually got um, quite a few mascaras in here, I've got three so I guess that means I go through those quite quickly. Um, but I've got the Max Factor Masterpiece Max mascara here and this has been bought and used up quite quickly, quite recently. Um, this is my probably all time favourite mascara, it's just got a kind of spiky kind of plastic brush. I know some people don't really like those ones, they prefer the bristle ones but I think they're always the best for giving a lot of length and a lot of volume but without being too clumpy so I would most definitely buy that again and I probably will soon. I've got a Maybelline one here, this is the Falsies and um, this is kind of raged about quite a lot I think but I just did not get on with it. I, it was a struggle to use this up, it's got quite a thick kind of clumpy brush, it's kind of curved um, but it, it's got fibres in it as well I think which I, I don't tend to get on with with mascaras that have those in them um, but I just found it so cloggy and clumpy, I had to use a mascara underneath it and then on top of it just to kind of stop me having about three lashes all stuck together. So um, I know lots of people like this, but I really didn't get on with it. And the last one here is the L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof Mascara. And I know one of my favorite YouTubers, Anna from Viviana Does Makeup, absolutely raves about this. It is her number one best favorite ever mascara. Um, and I bought this kind of for when I'm going swimming, when I go to the gym, not that I do ever go to the gym, um, and for just kind of time when I want a waterproof mascara. I don't really ever get on with waterproof mascaras, and unfortunately I didn't really get on with this. I think the brush is the main culprit. It's very skinny, it only has um, like four sets of bristles, so they're kind of in a square shape, and I just didn't find that my lashes kind of got into it enough. It just kind of coated the top, but it didn't get all the way around the lash, so... I didn't love it. It was really good at staying on though. It was impossible to take off. Um, yeah, so kind of a bit of a umming and ahhing over that one. I don't think I would buy it again. Last makeup item in here is a Maybelline Dream Bloomy Touch Concealer. And this is just one of the standard kind of click up um, concealer pens for brightening, kind of illuminating. And um, I did really like this, but I also like the L'Oreal one and I also like the Collection one. They're all really, really similar actually. I tend to buy a different one every time just to try them out, but. Um, yeah, it, it did the job, but I think um, as far as kind of illuminating concealers go, they all pretty much do the same thing. So I did really like it. I would buy it again, but I, I think I'll probably try one from a different brand next time. So moving on to skincare, and I've got the Origins High Potency Nitamins Night Cream here. And um, it's taken me quite a while to get through this, actually. I've had it for a long time. I kind of alternate it between um, this and the overnight mask as well, so I kind of use them every other day. Um, but I didn't I didn't really find this was quite rich enough for me. I'm not sure if it was because I was using it in the winter and my skin was really dehydrated and I needed more moisture to it. But it just didn't ever seem to kind of be enough for my skin. I had to top it up with facial oils and um, put a little bit of the overnight mask on top of it. Um, it's a nice cream. I think if you had sort of um, normal skin that wasn't suffering from any dryness or anything like that, or even just using this in the summertime when it's a bit warmer and your skin doesn't need quite as much moisture in it, um, it would be good. But I don't think I would buy it again just because it just didn't really wow me, it didn't really impress me that much. Last skincare product I have here is the Effacar Duo from La Roche Posay, and I'm sure you all know what this is, you've seen it a million million times. I think probably everybody has this now, um, but it's kind of a kind of correcting, unclogging moisturiser. I tend to use it as a serum, so I need a moisturiser on top of it, but I know a lot of people like to just use this on its own. Um, but I just found this is brilliant if you've got any kind of like breakouts, if you've got those really stubborn under the skin spots that just never come to a proper spot but just lurk there for ages and ages. This really helps to kind of pull all those out. So when I first used this I did notice my skin got worse but I think it's because it was getting better. Um, so obviously it brought everything out and then it kind of treated it. So this is a real, real saviour product. I have actually two of these in my drawer um, that I've stocked up on just so I have another one to use. Um, but I think this is such a great product if you do stuff from breakouts, if you have problem skin. I've got a body cream here from Lush. This is the Dream Cream. I got this in a Christmas gift set, so it was only a small one. Um, but I've been using this quite a lot recently. I, I really like the kind of idea of um, products that make you go to sleep easier. So things with like lavender and caramel and really cooling and soothing things. And this is what this is all about. So it's got a really kind of lovely 
just calming and relaxing smell to it and it's, it's quite moisturising but it's not too sticky so I really like to put this on um, when I go to bed because the smell just kind of gets into your nose and makes you really sleepy and kind of quite rested um, but it's not sticky enough that it's going to stick to your sheets or your pyjamas things like that um, so I think I will buy another one of these because it didn't really last me that long but I did really enjoy it. I've got some hair products here and again I just never ever get through hair products. I only wash my hair probably once or twice a week, I don't like to do it too often just because it takes such a long time um, so I never really use up all the products that I buy but I've got the um, Kerastase Cement Thermique I've had this for such a long time and I've only just finished it and it's basically kind of like a milk that you put all over your hair when it's wet um, before like blow drying it, before letting it dry and it just kind of protects it, it strengthens it if you're using like heat tools, if you're blow drying it um, this smells so so nice it's it's kind of like a really fresh and lemony, it's, it's a really nice smell and it really kind of lasts in the hair as well. I think I will buy um, another one of these just because I did notice that whenever I use it, which is pretty much every time I wash my hair, it just really kind of helps to make it feel very soft and very smooth and I can tell that it's not getting damaged when I have this on. I've got a sort of similar product here from Tresemme, this is actually a treatment and it's a one use shot so it didn't take me too long to use this up. Um, but it's from their new Platinum Strength range, and I actually only used this a couple of days ago. Um, I haven't washed my hair since using this, and usually with these kind of shots, I don't notice much difference. I know there's like the VO5 oil ones, I think there's a Lee Stafford one, and um, you kind of put them on, but they tend to feel just like conditioner. This is just, it was amazing. My hair has never felt so soft. I didn't put conditioner on, I didn't put any kind of hair oils on, just to see how it would actually work just on its own. And... I can't even tell you how soft my hair feels. It feels like it's been kind of repaired, like all my split ends are gone and it's not dry, it's not brittle. Um, I was so amazed by this and they're only about 150 I think, so I'm definitely going to go back and buy loads of those more. I'm not sure how often you should use it, um, maybe kind of like once a week, once every two weeks, but I think this is such a great product and for how cheap it is, ooh, <laughs> you should definitely go and try it out. Last product is Sesheet and I, I love this, it's probably one of my all time favourite products ever. It's um, just kind of like the hardest, glossiest, long lasting top coat and um, I know it's a little bit controversial but I think as long as you're opening the windows, <laughs> airing out the room while using this, it's absolutely fine. The one thing that annoys me completely though with this is, I don't know if you can see, there's about half of it left but it's now completely unusable. This stuff thickens up so so quickly, it gets gloopy and it just gets unusable, you can't even get it out of the bottom. It's it's such a waste really, I wish they did smaller versions or I wish it didn't kind of gloop up so quickly but I've already bought another one, I can't not buy it because it's just so so good but it's really annoying that it does that. So that's everything I've used up recently and considering how long it's taken me to like accumulate that little pile, it's not a great deal really, I need to work on using up all my products and not buying more before I do. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.